So I might not actually have to vacuum ever again. Hey Google, start Tony. Okay, turning on Tony. Yes, yes, what's going on people? Tech Jamo. Now, we're out here with another product from Electric. Now, for those of you that don't remember Electric, I reviewed one of their mini dishwashers a little while back. Now, Electric saw that review and they were like, look, we've got more products. If you want to do reviews for them, we're happy to send them to you. And so that's what they did. And now they've sent me this iClean robot vacuum cleaner fam. So they haven't told me to say anything nice about it. They're not even gonna see this video before it releases. So I just wanna get it unboxed and see if it's actually gonna vacuum my floor because I'm lazy as. All right, where do we even get started on this thing? Ah, the old box within a box. We love to see it. Okay, slide that out of the way. Ooh, there's a lot to unpack here fam. So let's take our time. User manual thing, little user manual. This is big. I think this is the biggest one I've ever seen fam. Look how massive that is. Look at that fam, that's the bottom there. It's got the little mop thing on the back. It's got a little blue bit at the back as well, which looks kind of cool for the water. Um, Yo, this, this is just massive fam. Let me put this to the side for a second. These look like some floor sweeping attachments. You got one here and you got one here as well. So those must go on the bottom of the machine. I'm sure these must be spares because you got more of these floor sweeping attachments as well. Not sure what this is, but it's here. This seems to be some kind of vibe. I don't even know. I don't know what this is, but it's here. Looks like we've got a little charging adapter. Ah, this looks like the little home base unit. Okay, little rubber feet on the bottom there as well. Lovely jubbly, so this must be where it goes to charge after it's done cleaning. This is also some kind of spare part. I'm not sure what it is though. <laughs> got a little filter here as well. It's a little spare filter perhaps. And you've got a little remote here as well, which is quite strange because all of the robot vacuums that I've tried out in the past just relied on a smartphone app. So should be able to just use this remote and clean the whole house, I'm assuming. Stuff like that, extra. We've got some extra cloths and stuff. That's cool. Let's peel off this plastic. So this is the apparatus for mopping and stuff like that. So you fill it up with water and it mops the floor apparently. And this is your normal one for when you're just hoovering. Again, very strange because these tend to come with the vacuum part pre-installed and not the mopping part pre-installed. And the mopping part is usually a lot smaller than that as well. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna have some actual performance from this one from Electric. I forgot to mention that plastic bar along the bottom is actually a UV light and it's supposed to kill all the germs that the thing drives over. All the invisible germs, you know them things there? Apparently it's scientific. I don't know about it, but it looks nice. All right, so now that the unboxing is out of the way and the thing is all set up literally in the background down there, uh, let's talk about this little remote. It doesn't come with the two AAA batteries needed to power it. I thought the remote wasn't working at first, but it's just that it doesn't come with batteries, as most remotes don't anyway. Now you can do mostly everything that you need to do with this robot with this one remote. Like you can literally tell the robot to clean the whole house, send the robot back to its base station, change the intensity of the suction power on the robot or manually move the robot around just by the click of a button fam. And it's really easy to use. Anyone can literally use it. 
Now, if that remote is looking too old fashioned for you or you're simply useless like me and you keep on losing your remotes, there's also the option to download the app that works with the robot. And the app is simple to set up. You literally download the app, use the app to scan a barcode that's on the side of the robot and then connect the robot and the application to your Wi-Fi network so that they can communicate with each other. And that's literally it. And you can do way more with the app than you can do with the remote on its own. For example, the app literally maps out different rooms in your house as the robot's cleaning so that later on, if you just want the robot to clean a specific room, you can literally highlight that room and the robot will go directly to that room, clean it up, and then it will come back to its little home fam. So yeah, there's lots of different intricate stuff that you can do with the app that you can't necessarily do on the remote itself. Let's tell it to um, start cleaning. Start cleaning. Okay, all right. Okay, stuck on the corner right now. Bit awkward. And it's made it. <laughs> now, when I was looking at the product specification, it mentioned that there was a staircase sensor to stop it falling down the stairs. However, I live in a flat, so I don't have stairs. I don't know what those are. So what I did instead was put it on top of this table and as you can see, it will not fall off the table and it just turned into a glorified tabletop cleaner and it would be wicked if they made a smaller version which you could put on your kitchen surface and literally clean the crumbs off your kitchen worktop. But um, as far as the cliff sensor, staircase sensor goes, it definitely does its job. Now let's try some manual controls as well, see if we can drive it into the kitchen. Hey, there we go. All right, let's turn it into the kitchen now. Nope, other way. Okay, we'll just keep going that way then. And forwards. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do, let me get some stuff. Let me get some mess and make some mess around it. All right, so herb of choice is mixed herbs and we've kind of sprinkled a perimeter all around the robot. So let's see how well it does in terms of cleaning all of this up. I'll just get it to do the perimeter button where it kind of cleans up everything around it. Let's see what happens. Seems to be doing something. Definitely seems to be doing something. Oh, we like that. That's, that's kind of satisfying, I can't lie. That is kind of satisfying. I think there's still a little bit over here somewhere. There's still, there's still a little bit over here, mate. So you might want to come over here. I don't know if you can do that. There we go, it's coming in the background. Is it going to make it this time? No, I think it's going into smaller circles until it finishes. So let me see if I can manually use the remote to go and clean up the mess that's here now. There we go. Oh yeah. All right, so it's clearly good at sweeping stuff off the floor, but let's see what this whole mopping situation is about. Cause I've never found a robot Hoover vacuum that can do it properly. All right, so this is the mopping thing. Um, I guess we just open this little bit right here where we put the water in. This one in there. Now bear in mind guys, even though there is a mop attachment, there isn't necessarily a mop mold that you can select. So what I did was I spilt some juice in front of it, spilt some milk, and then I just selected spot mold and put the robot in front of the spillage so that it would clean everything in close proximity. And I was surprised, it actually did jobs. It actually mopped up everything um, into the mop kind of thing. Um, yo, yeah, man was, wow, <laughs> it actually did job. I even tried a stickier substance like sticky soy sauce and even with the sticky soy sauce, as you can see, fam, it's, it's cleaning up fam. Can't lie, I'm shocked. Can't lie. Furthermore, when you're done mopping up the ting, imagine you can just peel the cloth off and literally run it under a tap or chuck it into your washing machine and you're good to go fam. Tutu fairy liquid, washing up liquid, all that kind of stuff right there. 
boom, you're done, it's washed up, you're good to go, let's keep it moving. So yeah guys, as you can see, the electric robot vacuum cleaner kind of does what it says on the tin. The vacuum mode is very good at getting up those little bits of dust and getting into corners. I don't know how it gets into corners when it's so big and massive, but the artificial intelligence, all that stuff, um, yeah, it's really good at getting into corners and getting out those little bits of dust and stuff like that. Um, the mop part of it, that is quite good. It's very easy to swap between mop and between the vacuum accessories kind of thing. Like you can literally do it in under five seconds. And if you've got the kids around, it's also got some stickers that you can put on the vacuum cleaner while it's running around the house. And yeah, those look kind of cute and you know we love stickers here. Apart from the stickers, one thing that I really do love about this vacuum cleaner in particular that I've not seen in all the other robot vacuum cleaners that I've reviewed is the fact that it comes with a normal remote. Like, I didn't realize how much a normal remote just reduces the learning curve of using one of these things. The previous robot vacuum cleaners I had, my partner didn't really want to use them because she knew she had to download the app, sign into the app, set up the app on her smartphone and do all of that rubbish and she really couldn't be bothered with that. But now that it's a normal remote, she knows that she can just pick it up, press a button and it will start doing the cleaning without any stress at all. Literally no communication needs to be taken place with an application. You just press the button and boom, it goes. You can even control the direction of the robot vacuum cleaner with the remote control itself. A uh, few negative points, I think it's just the thing that happens with most vacuum cleaners and the fact that they can't really take up big pieces of rubbish on the floor so sweetie wrappers um if there's anything big enough then like i don't know like a little piece of plastic bag or something like that it will just get stuck in the vacuum it will start making some mad sound and yeah nothing's getting hoovered up so try keep it away from wires and stuff but yeah guys i can't lie i'm pretty happy with this one it's another good product from electric um, like I said, they haven't paid me to do this review. They've literally just said, look, we'll give you this robot vacuum cleaner in exchange for a free YouTube review. Um, I've said what I've had to say in terms of it not being so good at hoovering up the bigger items and stuff like that, but it is good at picking up all those little bits of micro dust and little dust that is on the floor fam. I think it does take a little bit longer than using a manual hoover yourself. Like if you're using a Henry, um, you could just run that into the room and run it out again. But that takes effort and that's the whole point of this robot vacuum. You're not supposed to stand up and do it yourself. You're supposed to be lazy and let the vacuum take the strain. But yeah guys, not mad at this one at all. Big shout out to Electric for sending it down. And um, yeah, hopefully this helped influence your purchase decision. If it did, feel free to leave a little comment, like, subscribe, and um, I'll catch you in the next one.